Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we are once again on Geyser Plains, once again with Ivory King versus Fred, and I am once again Shadow Fury CC3 because I'm not willing to change my name. I mean, why would I? That's what I'm known as. Ivory King going for a very quick click about factory. He's on the west side this time, while Fred on the east side this time in red. The colors are switched as well from last game. Going for a spider factory. I. I like this. I like the spider factory. It's a difficult factory to use well, but. It's awesome when done right. Admittedly, on Geyser Plains, I don't know why he went for Spider Factory, because it works really well on hilly maps. And this map is pretty flat. It's, I mean, it doesn't look super flat, but it is pretty flat. It's The big thing spiders have is the fact that they can go on hills, they can set up for ambushes really easily with the fleas, because they know what's going on. It's kind of a map hack, almost. I mean, they don't last very long once they're spotted, but still, they dig into the ground and are basically impossible to see. But with that, you have a... Well, you have essentially knowledge of what your opponent is doing, your opponent's movements, and then you set up from there for ambushes. And then from there you use Venoms and Hermits and Recluses to actually deal the damage that you need. Venoms now being able to deal damage, they are, they've been upgraded to deal like 18 damage a shot. Not a huge amount of damage, but still something more than just paralyzing. They do still paralyze, however, they still have EMP damage on top of that. Now, of course, Clokeybot Factory, fairly typical factory. That's something that works really well, especially against spiders. The thing is, fleas are essentially destroyed by any unit. And glaives are fast enough they can get around the map and just destroy any... Oops. Glaives are fast enough they can just destroy any unit that they want, really. But the Venoms, since they can deal damage, actually does change things a bit. Or might change me, but we will see. This is going to be an interesting match. Being these players are quite high level. See how it works out. Fred is able to get rid of that first glaive, and the Rockos around aren't able to get rid of that Venom. It's doing a really good job. Fred's doing a really good job microing that around to dodge the shots. As it's trying to approach the Rockos, unfortunately, they move at about the same speed, so there's really no way the Venoms can catch up. Especially since the Venoms are dodging in the meantime. And an Infiltrator coming... Wow, really early Infiltrator. That is surprising. Infiltrator is typically used when you're dealing with... Oh, I see who's probably trying to do it. My guess is he's going to take the Infiltrator and use it to take out Ivory King's commander, because Ivory King, he's going for the same type of commander we saw last time with the riot cannons and the armor plating. That's pretty interesting, actually. We'll see where that goes. I'm not sure if it's being planned to go out for that. It might be just used against these Rockos. And I'm guessing these Venoms are going to be coming around now. Just double check. I think that there is no radar for either player, and... No, neither player has radar right now. This is all line of sight, and... What? Okay, odd. The... Why are the players pausing? For whatever reason, the players have decided to pause. So I'll just... I don't that. Actually, no, I'll go back to the game. I will go over some stuff here. So, anyways, I was saying, before the game got paused... Close this away. Oh, there we go. Anyways saying the Venoms could go around here and then try to flank the Rockos. There's no radar for it. And the Fleas as well could get around, but this Glaive here will stop the Fleas from doing anything to the Rockos on the west side. Actually, any of the Rockos at all, that one Glaive is doing a great job dealing with that. Now, at the same time, these Fleas here are able to do some damage to the Rocco, but Fleas don't have a huge damage potential. They're basically dealing nothing. And this Tick here, there is a Tick here that kind of will be useless, honestly. Against the Fleas, that's not going to be worth it at all. They can be taken out by anything else. But against the Venoms, and especially against any further units that come in, the Weavers are not that big of a threat, but against the Venoms, that will be very useful. Because Venoms just tear Raiders to shreds. The Skirmish here, the Rockos, are a good choice to use, but even then, it's, as you can see, pretty tough to make work. However, if the Ticks are able to stop the Venoms, then they can get surrounded by Glaives and just destroyed. This Tick clearly is meant to be defensive, but further Ticks are not forthcoming. Warriors are forthcoming here. That's the next thing after this Rocco is a warrior. Which, against the Venoms... Against a group of Venoms is a bad idea. Against a single Venom isn't terrible. It can work. But even then, largely because of the fact that it's going to be soaking damage that would be going to the Glaives. Or if it's not going to the Glaives, then the Warrior can deal a ton of damage right away. And South Ivory King has dropped down. He is getting these Metal Extractors over to the South. And it was pointed out last game in the chat that actually this... Oops. This metal extractor here, it's four metal, ex four metal income per extractor and can be easily overdriven. So one important thing about the south side of the map is that it does have a lot of overdrive potential. There are two geysers here that can be used, or 
well, geothermal vents, they can be used. Could be geysers, could be volcanoes. Anyway, they can be used for geothermal power plants, which can then be chained over to help overdrive as well. Not to mention just the sheer amount of space and the fact that it's not necessarily defensible, but it does have a certain amount of of anonymity to it, I guess you could say. It's not really something you focus on very much, because it's only a couple metal points, even though one of them is a massive metal point. Now, Fred is setting up, once, setting up on the defensive. Where did the spy go? It's over here. It's not really going to have that many good targets. The warrior may be a good target. The only one I can really think of is Ivory King's commander itself. If he takes that out with the spy, he can then follow up with even fleas, finish it off. Although Fleas would do it in time. But if he had some Hermits going down there, that would do the trick. The problem is that the Spy... The Infiltrator here, sorry, not Spy. <laughs> That's what it is. It's not... It's called an Infiltrator. It acts as a Spy. But that Infiltrator could do that. But right now, Ivory King's in such a position where it would probably decloak before it got near him. And this Tick being used defensively, but not actually doing anything. Unfortunately, missing everything. And that was the Tick we saw here as well, so... Is there another tick coming up? There are two more ticks coming up for Ivory King, and Fred not building anything right now. He has his recluses and his Venoms, and that's all he's focusing on other than economy. He's switched over entirely to building economy. While Ivory King, building up his economy, he has some defenses to make sure that this doesn't go down without him knowing. But he's definitely ahead in economy right now. He has... Well, 19 metal and 26 energy versus 11 metal and 16 energy, and given that a lot of this energy can be used to overdrive this metal extractor, Nothing much yet, but definitely soon. But yeah, this stinger here, that is pretty big. Now, Fred not focusing on that. He might focus on the top here, and we see that spectators are pointing out these glaze will probably go from the north all the way down here. Another stinger being built in the middle of the map as well. This is rather surprising. This stinger here is essentially going to keep the metal entirely for Ivory King, and given this stinger giving... Ivory King the South, it's going to be difficult for Fred to get out of this. He could go towards the North if he stops these Glaives, but getting through Glaives as Spiders is difficult to do. With enough Venoms as possible, but his Venoms are all focused on the center of the map, not the South. There we go! That's what I was waiting for! The Spy moving into the Commander, and the Commander is going down. The Venoms are keeping it locked down, but unfortunately, a Tick coming in from the North. It's stunned before it can stop anything, and the Commander has gone down, and this Tick will actually stunned the spot, stunned the infiltrator, but the infiltrator has done its job. It did exactly what it was supposed to do, get rid of this commander. Actually, I'll get rid of the metal view, so i get rid of the reclaim. But that will stop the commander, and that's going to be rather difficult. At this point, a rector has also gone down, and I'm... Ivory King, he doesn't have a whole lot of builders anymore. He has... He has a rector here, he has another rector being constructed. That's about it, actually. Losing his commander is not a small deal for him. Actually, another rector over here building metal extractors over to the north. And here that come the glaives. One of them going down to the laser turret, but they are going to try to avoid that. Should be able to take out these metal extractors here. Or, no, not even going for that. Not even getting the chance. Kind of misfiring on that one. Getting to the power plant, but only closing it briefly. So Fred, while he is still behind an economy, actually has come up ahead in units somewhat. However, more glaze coming in. These Venoms are going to be the only real line of defense on that one. And Zeus is for Ivory King, basically to match the Venoms. Now, if Ivory King were to spread out his forces, if he were to spread out, like, Venoms over here, and then, obviously, Reckless would be behind that. But if he spreads out the Venoms, then that'll work. That should stop the Zeus's. I mean, the Zeus's don't really have splash damage anyway, but... At the very least, it would cause him to focus... Actually, even focusing fire wouldn't be a good thing either. But the thing with EMP is that if you have... If your units are spread firing your opponents, you're going to stun all of their army. Where if they're focus firing, you're only going to stun one unit. Granted, that unit's going to die faster, but the other units can still fire in the meantime. However, getting through this stinger is going to be the real tough part. I think recluses... I don't think they have the range to... They just barely have the range to do it. But it's going to be a real tough thing to do. Recluses don't have great accuracy at a long distance. They, with four recluses, it might have a chance. But even then, his only hope is this Venom getting in close. Or the Spy, or the Infiltrator, is getting in close enough. And the Infiltrator able to stop that. Able to get this stunned. At least allowing a battle to be joined. But even then, there's only going to be 19 seconds. So 
There's 20 seconds that Ivory King ha oh, sorry, Fred has to get through Ivory King's defenses. Four 14 seconds now, 13 seconds, and the Reckless has got that Stinger now to half health. Nine seconds left. The Venoms are doing what they can to keep that going, but it's not going to be enough. However, the Recklesses might just stop it. The Rector here to repair it. No, the Recklesses have been destroyed by the Venoms, and Fred's Commander going down with them. This Stinger not being killed, and that was pretty much the chance. This this Rector doing what it can, trying to stun out. Well, it's trying to stop this, but it's getting healed too quickly before the Venom can actually damage it, and the Venom's going to die to this Glaive and these Zeuses, and that, I think, is going to be it. Fred... Might have another chance after this. He is going for a crab. He had covered that, but it's going to take two minutes to come up. In, the t in that time, Ivory King will be able to come through and finish him off. Neither player has taken the north either, and Fred, that's kind of his main chance at this point. His Weavers have taken the east side of the map, but that's not enough. He's not even got enough metal to keep this factory going at full speed. And Fred has blown himself up and surrendered. That was kind of anticlimactic, but... Still, a nice little fight off to that center. So hope you enjoyed that, and I guess we'll be having another. It seems like these players are still willing to play. So let's keep on going then. Stay tuned.